Welcome back, my friends. Um, I have something exciting to show you in the video today. It is something that I did a couple of years ago when the tree collars came out. And so I'm really excited to show you a DIY. But first, let's move all these fall decorations into storage. So I have moved in box and um there's spiders on the box <laughs> anyway i'm going to um pack this stuff in here leaking and so I had to find some like little seals new seals and I, I think I got it now um, I made a video on it and uh, my video will not upload and I'm still working on it I may just have to redo the whole video which really agitates me but um, I do have a video where I was working on my sink in the bathroom um, unclogging a pipe so maybe if I I might just stick a clip of it in here so you can see it it was a uh, quite disgusting so now I've moved on to uh, moving my table out of my living room the reason why it's in our living room is because we had a new washer and dryer installed a few days ago so here you're going to see me to start struggling. Um, I got this table in here by myself and um, I couldn't figure out what way I got it in there. And so I end up having to turn it around a different direction after I got frustrated. But I had to move my stove out of the way on the other side of that wall. Um, but I just keep getting hung up here and... The struggle is real. Success. Oh, that was so hard. I can figure out how I got that through that doorway. I need to go check the door. I think someone's here. to I just brought the chairs back and I have a table runner I like to keep on here and so um, I'm going to set my table back up um I'm standing here at my back door contemplating on if I want to go outside. It's cold and this Oklahoma wind is blowing something fierce and I don't know if I want to go out there. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. All right, now we are in my shed. It needs a little cleaning out. Maybe we'll, we'll do a video on that come uh, springtime. Oh my gosh, here, look. Look at all my crap. Yes, just lots of crap. 
four wheeler we've outgrown bikes and uh christmas thanksgiving stuff yeah so Shut this door. Maybe the window. Hold off for a second. We don't want you out there. Oh, I made it in the house. Oh, the back door is still open. Wind's gonna catch it. Okay. Watch out, Maddox. I don't want my little dog to get out. Oops. We have a fenced in yard, but the neighbors don't have really nice dogs. And he likes to run the fence line and bark at them and agitate them. So we don't let him in the backyard because of that. I don't want them to think that they can nibble on my little dog. Okay, I'm gonna put this box out. I think I got another, I brought out, I'm gonna shut the door real fast. Oh, well, it's all right. I'm gonna, I got some, um, I brought this plumbing stuff out here, so I'm gonna put it up. I have a little, oops, I about stabbed myself. I have a little box here, I just, just keep adding in stuff in. You never know when you're gonna have a leak in your house, and that has come in handy more times than one. So, um, I'm trying to make my way over here. There is a box, I'm not really sure what's in it. I don't think, oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's more fall decorations. I had no idea that was here, but that's okay. Oh, I'm gonna get these cute little snowmen out. I got those at a little fair, little fair we had in town last year. I actually bought them for Christmas presents and I got him home and I told, showed my husband and he thought they were the neatest little things. And he said, you're gonna give those away for Christmas? I said, yes, yeah, what I got the girls. And he's like, I think you should just keep them for yourself because they're really cute. And so he says, just keep them for yourself because you really liked them. And you know, we can get, we can get the, the girls something else. When I say girls, I'm talking about my my mom and <laughs> my mother-in-law. So hopefully she don't see this. <laughs> that I kept her Christmas present from last year. <laughs> she got something else. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to weasel this over here. <laughs> oh my Lord. <laughs> Sorry, I have butterfingers today for some reason. I don't know if it's the wind's got me messed up. I mean, look at my hair. I look like, yeah, I don't care. Look, <laughs> I don't care. So uh, anyway, these snowmen are so adorable. Uh, I think they're made to go outside, but um, they're pretty big. So um, I'm, I didn't put them outside. I put them in the house and I, staged them by the tree and they were so cute so um yeah i think i'm gonna do the same thing i don't think i'm gonna put them outside i don't want them to get ratty and stuff with the wind and and then the weather so but i have a box here that's pulled out already um that i'm gonna take in the house and then i also have uh, this box here in this christmas tree and I really don't think I can carry that in the house by myself. I think I'm gonna have to wait for um, 
my boy to come home from school and he can help me do that. So, but, um, you know, once I get this kind of moved around, I can actually kind of straighten up in here for a little bit and, um, see the floor. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> My hair. <laughs> it's so windy. Oh. I'm out of breath because this is really heavy. But I did it. I brought it in by myself. You know, before my husband went to work today, he left like at 9.30 this morning. And before he went to work, I was him hawing around about, do I really, do I want to work on this? You know, do I want to do this today? I'm not really feeling it in this wind. I really don't want to go out there in this wind and do this. I just didn't want to go out in the wind. I always get... I always have sinus issues after I've been in the wind and I'll probably be congested tomorrow. Um, but anyways, I got the big boy in. Maybe surprise the kids, at least have the tree up, maybe not decorated. Maybe they can help me when they get home, but um, I think the kids will be excited. Okay, so I have a, this is a seven and a half, foot tree it's huge and so we always got to have a designated corner in our house for the tree um i went ahead and took down some personal family photos um because i didn't realize they kept showing in the video and i i'm kind of i'm weird i don't want i don't want anybody shown in my video that don't want to be in my video so i took those down for privacy purposes and i may I may want to hang something up there too. Um, I left the nails. If I don't use them, I'll take them out. But um, I don't know. We will see. We'll just, I don't have a plan for this. I don't know what, how I want to do it. Um, I'm going to use decorations that I've used last year. And um, I even have a DIY thing I did. I want to show y'all. And you know, uh, when I get to that point, I will show, I will slow down the video. Okay, so my next step is I am going to spread out the branches. My little Cats are very curious and I'm gonna have to break them of their curiosity. I'm gonna let them sniff it and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've convinced my cats to hopefully maybe leave the tree alone. Um, I'll just get onto them a couple times. Maybe they'll figure out that's a no-no. But um, so, I was talking about in my video that I had made, I did a DIY on something for my tree. And what it was is I wanted one of those really cute baskets or something under the tree to hide the base. And, um, I couldn't find anything and everything I found online was super expensive and I didn't want to spend 60 or $70 on something. And so, um, I got these really cheap, uh, canvases and I brought, bought some little brackets and I already had this contact paper. I bought it thinking I was going to use it for inside of my drawers and my bathroom or my kitchen and I never used those. And then, so I found these really cute, um, this was in the Christmas section and they were window clings, I believe. I don't know. They were in the Christmas section and I bought them. I don't know. They just had a small portion of stuff. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby maybe. And they had some stuff already on sale at that time. Um, so we just put these little brackets on here. And so every year I just unscrew it. I have the screws in here. I just unscrew it and put it back together so it stores easily. And so all you need is a 
screwdriver, but I just took the contact paper. I took three of these canvases and um, some contact paper and these brackets, but the contact paper I smoothed out. What's awesome about this is if I ever get tired of this, I can refurbish the, um, I could, re, I could re, reuse these canvases again and maybe do a different design. You know, maybe one not so rustic or I want to change the colors of my tree. Um, I don't know. It's pretty, um, you could do anything. I mean, really. But I like the, um, the buffalo plaids right now. I really like those. And so... You know, I have the little snowman that has the buffalo plaids on him, so it's really cute. I like that. But I'm gonna get this screwed together real fast. I will speed this up so you don't have to wait. Okay, so I got it all put together. Um, I think I paid probably maybe $15 for this, uh, to do this. But like I said, I already had the contact paper, so I mean, it was pretty cheap. But I'm going to um, show you, it just slides right under the tree and it hides the base very well. I love it. Okay, now time for the topper, gotta find it. Christmas play with you. Okay, good. Mm -mm -mm. I don't 